car driver or someone traveling through or someone that lives here, you've got various clues and oh, something's happened here, there's been some investment here. I mean, we've done it a couple of times, just walked around and seen all the wee bits and bobs that have been done to the place. I think that's what it is, eh? taking a pride in where you live as well. Make and Move Kirkcaldy is a partnership between Fife Council and Sustrans where we're trying to encourage the people of Kirkcaldy to consider walking and cycling as an alternative to single car occupancy journeys. Part of that project's been the Pathhead Street Design. Street Design is looking at a neighbourhood of about 400 houses and trying to do a whole range of interventions. It's about making better places. Better places are good for walking and cycling. It's about community, bringing people together, using the street as a resource. And it's about active travel. Pathhead was chosen because it's a school that's got quite a high percentage of walking to it already. We have spent the time trying to work out the behaviour change and trying to connect with the local community. Sustrans bring consultation expertise that, although the council would have that, we couldn't concentrate on the project in the way that they've been able to. People used to design and expect people to live with those designs and they would just behave and that would be it. But that's very deterministic. It's not about that at all. It's it, you, you care for a child or a neighbourhood, and you also they have their own biological characteristics. You build on both. You can't build and expect people to behave. It's always uh, a challenge to find consensus into what will be the solutions. So that's where the consultation process is good for as well. That while you're designing, that you're still feeding back to the community. The local people know best. They're experts about their own neighbourhood. We immediately spotted some serious issues. There was a speeding problem. Our task was to have a look at that and see how we can improve that. At the junction of Cairn Street West and BT Crescent, we tightened the corners. Uh, basically, the radius became smaller, which meant that cars had to slow down. We introduced trees to give the feeling of residential area. We were keen to, to do this in a positive manner and not add more warning signs in a sort of positive way encourage people to be more considerate. At all entrances of the school there was an issue with young people coming out of the school grounds and there was not enough space to actually wait and look into the street before crossing. We worked closely with the head teacher at the school and the janitor. We created a dot pattern and basically encouraging young people it's their right of way and a car should be considered. So for cars it's a sign to slow down, for young people it's a sign that they can cross safely. I chose the colour, the pale green. I like the colour of that. The art in the project absolutely ties the whole thing together. It's been a cornerstone of the project. The flower motifs, the children's art in the playground, those are things that would never have come into a functional uh, transportation project before, but they do manage to tie the whole thing together. When I got told it was happening, I thought, oh, an art wall. But seeing it, it's, uh, it's really nice. I think Parkhead has a sense of place, but you add another layer, and I think we all need that little bit of magic. I bought a very beautiful painted and painted flower. I think complements the, the, the building and our garden. It's just eye-catching. I think having an artist is a great thing to bring in because we bring in someone who's got the time, opportunity to look at things in a bit of a different way. By seeing these little, these elements, these interventions within the area, you see that people, someone's taking care, thought about it, and it's magical. You go, oh, there's a flower. There's a flower on a building. Oh. The flowers, they're very colourful and they've got the street names on them. The theme of the flowers is pulling the whole thing together. The children are on a lookout for these things in their community. There's a big wall down there and that's got loads of flowers on it as well. It's the same colours, the colours of the flowers that are all around. We've had the tiles in the playground with the, the flowers on it that children designed. It's not just about calming the traffic down, but it's about you know the whole local environment and the sense of community. So Puffhead Park, 
So one of the big things that we did was put the new paths back in, widen them out, uh, put new lighting in, give the park a name so people could relate to it. So even simple things like the angle of a, a footway through the green space, we would have connected the two spaces on the straightest line. They've taken a fresh look at it, they've come forward with different proposals and the green space looks much better as a, a result of their intervention. I'm not an engineer, but you do get sucked into an engineer's view of the world and it's all about building and it's not. It's not all about building things. It's about spending time with people and trying to work out what, what do you think about, what do you like, what do you not like around here, where can we go, what's your aspirations and your ideas. To go through even the construction phase and get very little negative feedback from the public is very unusual. If we can take anything from the process is that you can't engage enough with people journeys that people make aren't simply about infrastructure on the ground, it's about interest, vitality, vibrancy, sociability as well, and place quality. People walk more, it's a better quality space.